all right so welcome back once again and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set up shopify payments to receive payment from your customer so take for example you want to start an e-commerce business you want to launch your dropshipping store and you like to target country like the us uk canada and the likes you need to have a payment method that is going to enable you to receive international payment from any customer from whichever country you like to target both local and international audience so for you to do this what you have to do is log into your shopify dashboard so if you don't have an account with shopify already i'm going to add a link at the division of the video so just go to the edition of the video you can see a link to set up an account with shopify so create your account with shopify and log into your shopify dashboard so when you are logging into your shopify dashboard what you want to do is you want to come over to settings here so click on settings when you click on settings you'll be able to come over to payment here so click on payment so when you click on payment you're going to see the payment option so as you can see here i don't have any payment method um, added to my shopify store already so i'm going to walk you through how you can do this so for you to be able to receive payment from your shopify store you can either use the shopify default payment method to receive payment from your customer but the shopify payment is not available in all country now let's quickly go over to shopify and see the countries where the shopify payment is um, available by default so as you can see so this is the supported countries for shopify payments so as you can see so these are the list of the countries so it's available in austria australia belgium canada finland france germany italy japan romania singapore and the likes so if your country is not among the list of countries where the shopify payments is not available by default what you want to do is to enable stripe so even though stripe is not enabled by default in your country there's still a perfect way for you to create your stripe account then link it to your shopify store then use it to receive payment from your customer so what you want to do now is let me quickly walk you through how you can do this then i'm going to walk you through how you can set up everything else later so here come over to payments here like i said earlier then click on choose provider so i'm going to click on choose provider so here i'm going to search for stripe so this is stripe so what you want to do is you want to click on stripe here so when you click on stripe it's going to redirect you to where you can create a connection between your shopify account with your stripe account so the reason why we have this here is because i've created a connection between my stripe account and my shopify store earlier so i only deleted it so i can show you how you can do it yourself so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a stripe account that is working so when you have a stripe account that is working log in to the stripe account in the same browser you are logging to your shopify store so if you are logging to stripe in the same browser you are logging to your shopify store you'll be able to link the two together so here i'm going to select the store i want to connect my stripe accounts to so this is the account i created in my stripe so let me quickly go back to stripe then show you so these are the list of store i have in my stripe account so this is the one i currently want to connect to so i'm going to come back here then i'm going to click on it then after that i'm going to click on connect so i'm going to click on connect now so as you can see stripe is now activated in my shopify store so with stripe i can target any international country and i'll be able to receive payment in any currency so how can you now create your own stripe account in order for you to add it to your shopify store so to set up your stripe account there are a couple of things you need to have so the first thing you need to have is to set up a business in the us so when you create an llc in the us you're going to gain access to your own tax id so this tax id is what they call ein so once you have your ein you can now use your ein to set up a stripe account and once your stripe account is activated you can now use it to receive payment on your shopify store so for you to set up your stripe so like i said earlier you need to set up your company in the us you need to create 
a business in the US and once you have a business in the US you're going to gain access to EIN and this EIN is what you're going to be using to create your Stripe account. So for you to do this I'm going to add a link at the description of the video so just go to the description of the video you're going to see the link to Northwest alright so it's going to bring you up to a discounted page like this and what you want to do is you want to use them to create your business in the US and once your business is formed in the US you'll now be able to use Stripe. So I did a video earlier on how to set up all of this i'm also going to add the link to the video at the description of the video all right so um let me quickly walk you through what you can do so once you go to, over to the page what you want to do is you want to click on get started here yeah? so here yeah, it's going to ask you to choose the type of business you would like to start all right so choose llc and here it's going to ask you which state did you want to form the business so here you want to um, select new mexico because your yeah, annual tax fee is free is zero so the only thing you need to pay for is the state formation fee which is around them um, $50 and uh, the LLC formation which you want to do which is $39 and for the EIN I think the EIN is going to cost you around $200 if you are not from the US so the total money you're going to be using to set up everything should be around them um, $289 so the formation is going to be $39 the state filing fee $50 and um, EIN is going to be $200 all right so here let me choose uh, New Mexico so I can quickly show you what it's going to look like all right so this is new mexico as you can see so um the state filing fee is 50 dollars. so like i said so this is 50 dollars, and the basic formation package is 39 dollars. so what you want to do here is you want to click on next so here you want to choose the name of the business you want to form that is you need to give your business a name so here let me um, let me just call this my business name so once you enter the name here what you want to do is if you want to come over here then choose the business purpose that is what the business is going to be selling or what the business is going to be doing so here i'm just going to enter i'm going to enter drop shipping and e-commerce here so after that what you want to do is you want to come over here then you want to click on continue so here is going to ask you is your business member managed so what you want to choose here is choose manager and manage because you'll be in charge of your business and you'll be the manager of your business so come over here then select manager and manage so here to so leave it at the second one so the next thing you want to do here is you want to add the total number of member in your business so it says how many members will be in this company so if it's going to be more than one if it's going to be one just leave it at one and most time is just going to be one because you're going to be in charge of the business so here what you want to do is you want to enter your name here you want to enter your last name then you want to use uh the address of northwest so you don't have to have another address in the us northwest is going to give you an address in the us that you can use to set up uh, your business in the us so after that here is going to ask you how many manager is going to be in your company and of course it's also going to be one so you want to enter your name again then use the northwest uh, registered address so like i said i don't want this video to be a long video i already did a video perfectly on how you can set this up and also set up your stripe account so i'm going to add a link to the video at the division of the video so all the resources you're going to be needing to set up everything you need to set up your shopify store to make it up and running i'm going to add them at the decision of the video so just go there watch the video and see how you can set up everything for yourself so basically this is how you can set up um, your shopify payment gateway to start receiving payment from your customer so another thing i omitted is that if you don't want to use stripe so if you prefer to use the shopify actual payment this one I, the first one i talked about that i said is not available in all country so if you prefer to use the Shopify default payment to receive payment from your customer. What you want to do is when setting up your Shopify store, so you can either change your country to the US. When you change your country to the US, you're going to see the option of Shopify payment. So when you bring out the option of Shopify payment and you want to set up your Shopify payment, now the details of uh, your company now the details of the company you form in the US and your EIN now the details of this company you set up in the US is what you are also going to use to set up your Shopify payment so you can either use Shopify payment because you have a company in the US or use the company details to create a Stripe account and use it to start receiving payments 
from your Shopify store. So the basic is you need to have a business form in the US. When you have a business form in the US and you have your in hand, you're going to have many options. So you can either use Shopify payments or you use the Stripe to receive payment from your customer. All right, so this is basically how you can set everything up. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, please subscribe so you can get more videos like this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.